if questions so first of all what is foreign currency valuation it is a process of identifying and posting the profit or loss that occurs from the fluctuation in the currency exchange rates when transacting with foreign business partners depending on local and global accounting principle requirements this might be done monthly or annually the valuations are usually reversed at the beginning of the next period however some countries require that this does not happen for a year end valuation to perform the valuation you configure a valuation method assign it to the valuation areas and in turn assign the valuation area to the accounting principal you also define the accounts relevant for the automated account determination of profit and loss you access the definition of valuation methods in customizing so these are the valuation methods uh, system delivered sap uh, valuation methods if we see the valuation method of evr so the description is always valuate so the valuation procedure is always evaluate and document type is sa and exchange rate type is m and exchange hedging and we can uh, check the boxes for group vendor group customers so whatever is required we will be going to check all the boxes so this is how the valuation method screen looks like this is the important part how the valuation procedure depending on what the valuation procedure will be uh, done it's like lowest value principle strict lowest value principle always evaluate revalue only so the system comes pre configured with the methods valid for the local legal requirements of many countries in most cases you won't need to make any modifications to these you can copy one of these to define your own rules instead you don't need to know the detailed definitions maintained here for the scope of the academy and exam on a high level you define the following here the valuation procedure that defines when the system proceeds to evaluate differences for example if a strict lowest value approach is chosen the system will only post the revaluation if the new valuation leads to a lower amount than currently in your books the way the document should be posted including document type account groups groupings and if posted by line item the exchange rate determination which includes the definition of the exchange rate types to use so the last point we will check again so the strict lowest value approach if we see here the second option for valuation procedure strict lowest value approach is if this the revaluation the calculated revaluation is less than the uh, amount which is already registered in the books then it will post that revaluation the way the document should be posted including document type account groupings and if posting by line item the exchange rate determination which includes the definition of exchange rate types to use these are the few things about valuation and after validating validating the valuation methods you define the valuation area by assigning proper valuation method the currency types and 
description so valuation method is assigned to the valuation area valuation area is assigned to the accounting principles you then assign evaluation area to an accounting principle the general ledger is updated through the ledger group assigned to the accounting principle so how the general ledgers are getting updated it is updated through the ledger group which is assigned to the accounting principle so if we see the screenshot here it's a valuation area screenshot where we have assigned valuation method to the valuation area and the currency types and the long text of this valuation areas so delta logic so we know the meaning of delta it's like difference between two things in customizing for the valuation areas for which you don't want to reverse the valuations automatically in customizing for the valuation areas for which you don't want to reverse the valuations automatically you activate the delta logic normally as we all know whatever the valuation revaluation is calculated in the month end we will be reversing in the first day of the next month just we are doing this revaluation for only reporting purposes so if we don't want to reverse that revaluation we are going to activate the delta logic if you activate the delta logic but want the program to still reverse the mid year valuations you select the monthly valuation checkbox so we will select the monthly valuation check revaluation checkbox so when if you activate the delta logic but still you want to reverse the mid year valuations you can then select whether the run is for mid year valuation or year end valuation in the selections for the valuation run in the box on the right in this way you might not need separate month end and year end valuation areas to carry out foreign currency valuations you define per general ledger account the accounts for valuation loss and valuation gain you also define a balance sheet adjustment account which acts as the clearing account for valuation differences the balance sheet adjustment account is needed for reconciliation account times customer and supplier accounts because the valuation difference isn't posted to the individual customer or supplier accounts so the we also need to uh, define a balance sheet adjustment account which acts as a clearing account for valuation differences the balance sheet adjustment account is needed for the reconciliation account types customer and supplier accounts because the valuation difference isn't posted to the individual customer or supplier accounts so this is the account determination screen for auto exchange difference realized column and losses for realized differences which occur when an open item is finally cleared in selection parameters for the valuation you can select whether to do a test run simulation run or update run you can let the system determine the posting parameters automatically or set them yourself if something goes wrong you can also reset the valuation completely this reverses both the valuation documents and the valuation reversal documents
know like uh, most of the times when we talk about talk extension ledgers they also uh, include that this is one of the purpose of the extension ledger that means simulation run simulation run for of foreign currency valuation that can be done through the extension ledger let us see what actually it is in the selection parameters for the valuation you can select whether to do a test run simulation run or update run you can let the system determine the posting parameters automatically or set them yourself if something goes wrong you can also reset the valuation completely this reverses both the valuation documents and the valuation reversal documents the simulation run posts values to a special simulation ledger which is a special type of extension ledger you can think of it as an advanced test run the advantage is that you won't need to reverse any documents but will be able to analyze the data in standard reports after editing the app unlike the results of a test run this data is strictly used internally and should not be used for the legal valuation the data is deleted from the simulated simulation ledger automatically after a productive run so it is very good option to have the simulation ledger or simulation run for the foreign currency revaluation for this type of uh, revaluation we use extension ledger that is nothing but simulation ledger so item to items to evaluate you also must select which items you want to evaluate you can select multiple types of items per run namely open items for customers open items for suppliers general ledger accounts and general ledger account balances you can also set parameters for each type of item such as specific suppliers and customers account ranges and so on you can see an example of parameters for the sub ledger selection parameters so here we can see there is a vendor selection evaluate vendors customer selection evaluate customers and customer central selections currency document number fiscal year delta logic year end valuation mid year valuation so now let us see the transactions the following transactions are performed in the period that the valuation is performed as defined by the key date a posting is made to adjust the overall balances accounting for the change in exchange rates and in accordance to the valuation method a posting is made to adjust the overall balances accounting for change in exchange rate rates and in according accordance to the valuation method the valuation posting is reversed automatically using a date in the beginning of the following period the foreign currency valuation can be executed as often as needed within a period and the program will post the delta values that have been calculated each time you can see a sample of run the system analyzed two items and found differences in the calculation so let us consider an example to illustrate the postings and valuation methods assume we have an account values over the period of a year as shown in the 
table. So the first screenshot shows the valuation in company code currency 10 valuation area IF method IFRS update from update run ID is ledger group OL 0L and GL account and first GL account and second GL account and with this document number and amount in foreign currency 30 and amount in local currency this is USD revaluation exchange rate one is DZ and one is SA document type old differences old differences it is 0 and new difference is 37 and 1498.5 so result of foreign currency value it will show the difference and if values of account balance through year so value time of posting so in local currency foreign currency it is 1000 at the end of quarter 1 this is 998 and end of quarter 2 it is 999 and end of quarter 3 it is 1001 and end of the year it is 2002 version program for different valuation techniques logics understanding the results of table means you have a firm grasp of the rules and methods for foreign currency valuation the always evaluate method will post the difference no matter what the new valuation is so the always evaluate method will post the difference no matter what the new valuation is so it's always evaluate so there are four uh, methods always evaluate lowest uh, value principle strict lowest value principle right and the other one is always evaluate revalue only evaluation procedure right so now the always evaluate method will pose a difference no matter what the new va new valuation is so if the delta logic is active this valuation won't be reversed the lowest value principle will post only if the valuation is calculated as worse than the valuation during posting of the original document so it will post only if the valuation is less than the previous recorded amount the values are either reversed or left untouched depending on the depending on the use of delta logic with the strict lowest value principle, the system will only post if the new value is lower than the current one held. So that, but what is the difference? The lowest value principle will post only if the valuation is calculated as worse than the valuation during the posting of the original document so at the end of quarter one everything is minus two and at the beginning of the quarter one it is plus two and the number goes on like this so amounts posted per valuation and posting logic So now let us see few question related questions. How many intervals are defined for the foreign currency valuation run ID per client? So if you see the selection screen, here there is no that kind of interval. So it is only one interval. Okay. In a valuation method, which of the following is not a valuation approach for foreign currency valuation? So, 
only strict that is D highest rate of interest principle. A general ledger account has a foreign currency setting of CAD. The company code currency is USD. The controlling area currency is UR. Which currencies can you post to in this in this account? So if the general ledger account has a foreign currency setting, then it is only possible to post only to that particular currency only to that particular foreign currency which is assigned to the general ledger no other currencies can be allowed so the answer is you can only post to the account in cad answer is b you have to run the foreign currency valuation for both us gap and ifrs which leads to different values for the two different accounting principles how can you set this up in the system so we will define two valuation areas and two accounting principles with relevant links to the ledgers. Define a valuation area and ledger group for two ledgers to link with the new valuation area. So define two valuation methods and assign the accounting principles to the new valuation methods. We don't directly assign it to the valuation method, we assign it to the valuation area. Define a valuation area and extension ledger to link with the new valuation area. So here they say the answer is C. For which activities can you use an extension ledger? There are two correct answers to this question. So we can use it for simulation of foreign currency valuation and also for adjustments for consolidation purposes. So these are the few certification related questions. Thank you so much for watching the video and let us meet soon in the other video. Thank you so much.